OCW Fed TV. This is not a fever dream. This is a trendy fire. The last blacksmith, Jason Sensation, or Barkley's crowd here for Turmoil 288. Not used to seeing a man like the last blacksmith on free TV, but they've got it tonight. The last blacksmith suiting up for our main event. Can't believe it, but the horse is here on turmoil. Don't let the horse mask fool you. This man is a stud, pun intending, who? I can't wait. And an opportunity right now to discern between yay or nay as he looks <laughs> to face off against John Carter, the holder of the future investment briefcase. He's been threatening a little more of late Jason Sensation to actually cash that thing in, the, the very case he wanted, Resolution 16. Not sending Jake Allen and yet John Carter is on what we call that ish right now. He's been running his mouth on social. It seems like nowadays that the young people all gotta do is talk on social media. Rabble, rabble, rabble. But now he's picking fights with everybody last week. He's running his mouth on social media. He's all around paying the ass. And I think he got Botox because now his eyes are a little bit lifted up in his face. Less puffy. Less sad looking, Jake Allen. I missed when he was sad. Ah! He's from Queens, John Carter repping the green, <laughs> the white, and the red, originally hailing from Italy. I think the last blacksmith would take exception to uh, him hearkening back to his original Italian roots right now. But maybe trying to throw a little shade, play some of those vintage wrestling club mind games with his opponent. I mean, his shirt says DUI, so that's all you really need to know. And in the left hand of the sad man, the future investment briefcase inside a contract that John Carter may use to cash in whenever or wherever he wants against any champion in OCW. Who's to say, Jake Allen, from last week? He's just been, looks like he might be focused on the OCW championship, but you never know with this guy. I don't think he knows what he's going to do before he does it. I have that same problem when I speak, but he has that same problem when he lives his life. Some may call him an imbecile, and some may call him a, a braggadocious braggadocious. Look, he's doing his own version of a Sandy, but much like himself, he's an idiot, and it's an idiot. Can the thing be an idiot? I don't know, but I'm going to say it anyway. I don't care. English is not my first language. Back to the action. And the first language of these two men is wrestling. Ah, oh, well, you would like to think oh! so. No, the baseball slide hitting John in the back. In the spine. A little bit of a revenge. Oh, 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 wait a oh and now before the before the action has really even taken place here, we've got Hito Gui up at the ramp. The last blacksmith not thrilled about it, and now John Carter oh. gonna try to take advantage, and he's caught with a right hand. He got hit right in the throat. Like John Carter thinking the same thing. And Hito just shouting from the top of the ramp. Jesus Christ! That's how you start a main event. People just shouting. Got two Italians in the ring. Greg official. He took Gui on the top of the ramp. It's crazy, Jake Allen. This is turmoil, baby. And John Carter now trying to take advantage oh. of the situation as he took Gui clearly not finished with the last blacksmith after their amazing encounter at Don't Come to New York. John Carter does oh. not have any time to worry about that as he twists him around and Hito's loving it. Uh, Hito, Hito looks uh, to be very unimpressed by uh, the last blacksmith performance. I'm not sure what accent that was, but that is a flapjack count to a million. Shout out to SDW and shout out to the midsection of the last blacksmith. Driven down into the mat with that flapjack and John Carter not finished with him yet. Representing the wrestling club in the best way he knows how by demolishing his opponent here in the main event. No, he's working over the, he's working over El Horsey. Just the one count. Horse going to have to think of something right now because right now he's getting tuned up. Uh, oh, that's one thing. <laughs> Popping back to your feet. He played a little possum there. John Carter was trying to get the crowd into it. 
trying to get the crowd on his side. That was never going to work, and he was caught uh -uh. with a big lariat, though. But just like that, boss, John Carter using his youth and his speed and his quickness to get back in the driver's seat. Oh, he definitely got all the tools to succeed. He's just an idiot, so that, that's where that is. And you listen to when you listen to the wrong people, when you think you know everything but you don't, when you continue to be a dumbass, that's pretty much what happens. He's what we call a himbo. Is that a word? I don't know. I think it is. But, yeah, he's very stupid. Back to the action. And John Carter, I know what he would say. Whether you like him or not, you have to recognize him as a potential future world champion as long as he holds that briefcase. And right now trying to prove that he belongs in that conversation oh. by taking out the last blacksmith, bouncing his skull off of the apron. That's Carter very part proud of, of himself. That's the damn hard That's what I've heard. Ring. Exactly. It is. It is. It's, it's quality. It's quality. Corinthian Wood, and just like John Carter uh, last week at Ambition, a uh, Halloween Hell, he took down uh, uh, Jacob Tratz, who is also a former champion. Talk about proving you belong, taking down a legend like Jacob Trantz, getting revenge for what transpired at one of last year's Ambition events. John Carter now, oh, and now faking out the crowd. They don't love it, but I'll tell you what, Hito Gui certainly sounds like he does. The last blacksmith. Being attacked from all angles right now, and that clothesline puts him down on the mat. He can't get no head of steam going at this point. He must have had some issues earlier in the show. Oh, the knee does not connect. Oh, oh that my does. God! KTJ need a jaw to cover now. One, two, and no! Oh, I was going to say, uh, just like that, a flash knockdown to Mateo, the last blacksmith, but he's able to get his shoulder off the mat, and you can still hear Hito Gui shouting from at the top of the ramp. Shit, more like a flash KO. He's, he's knocked down, knocked out. He's, he's on Dream Street, and I don't mean the Colossus variant. He can't get it. He can't get no kind of way right now. Oh, my Lord, ah. and now dropped on his skull with that wrestling suplex to cover one, two, three, and John Carter making short work of the last blacksmith. And, you know, boss, we've had a lot of conversations about how the last blacksmith performs in non-hardcore situations. This is not going to help his reputation between the ropes. That no, pretty much cemented the fact that when it comes to anything that doesn't involve weapons, oh, wait a minute. Jesus Christ. Who hit the lights? Oh. And now John Carter has gotten out of dodge. Hito Gui still not finished with the last blacksmith. I can't tell where the paint starts and the, and the blood ends. And vice versa, but now, now Hito Gui is uh, going to try and put Blacksmith down once and for all, going to town on his knee. Uh, he's working on, the, he's working on that knee, just like you said, Jake. I'm trying to prove a message. Oh ah, Jesus! The Kobe Cannibal, his measure of revenge at Don't Come to New York was clearly not enough. Blacksmith's left knee absolutely torn to shreds. By the sharp end of that chair. Oh, man. Uh -huh. We know what that means. Oh, you know exactly what that means. That means, oh, boy. You're going to have to get the medical medics involved. John Carr was right to get the hell out of Dodge. I don't know. Blacksmith came, but he wasn't 100%. And it shows right now he's limping. It's not looking good, Jake Allen. What a horrible way to end the damn show. But it'd be like that sometimes. We'll see you next week. For